Well, we are on the eve of the anniversary of what was a dramatic day in South Bend one year ago. It was on a Sunday last year on St. Patrick's Day when a plane crashed into a neighborhood on North Iowa Street near the airport. That disaster prompted evacuations. Two people on board the plane died, and people on the ground were injured. And on Iowa Street, life hasn't been the same since. WSBT's Ed Ernstis has more. Several of the homes that were damaged in the plane crash have since been demolished and removed. All that remains is a lot southeast of the airport where they once stood. But memories of that day on St. Patrick's Day remain for those who live here, such as Tanisha Henry, who lives just a couple doors down from the crash scene. She vividly remembers when police fanned out through the neighborhood, asking homeowners to evacuate after the crash. It was a scary moment during that time. The police officer knocked on my door and um, asked that I evacuate um, my house. And that, during that time, I was seven months pregnant, so you could imagine how that was. For some here in the neighborhood who were at home at the time that it happened, it doesn't seem like it's been a year since it took place. They're still trying to process all they heard, saw, and experienced that day. Does it seem like it's been a year? No, not at all. It doesn't feel like it's been a year. Like, I hadn't even realized it had been that long. It's hard to believe it's been a year, um, but each time you drive up and down Ryer, or Iowa Street, you know, it's right there. I think the significance of it being on St. Patrick's Day, it's something that you'll never forget that date because it is St. Patrick's Day. She says a sense of normalcy has returned to the neighborhood, but she says some days still pays attention to planes flying near her home. Occasionally you hear one that just, okay, where, where's it coming from? What direction is it flying over? So that's what brings those memories back. You know, you, you run to a window, okay, where's it at? Where's it located? You know, this is a day that we'll always remember. Ed Ernstis, WSBT Channel 22 News. And currently, some of these semi-empty lots that remain on Iowa Street as a result of the crash are in a state of legal limbo. A lawsuit has been filed against the manufacturer of the plane and the company that owned it. The first to file were the two men on board that plane who survived but who still suffer from their injuries. In the meantime, the NTSB still has not finished its investigation into the crash.